Okay, so today I'm going to be doing my um, perfume collection and kind of a review of all of them. Uh, I'm not the best at describing scents, but I'm going to go ahead and try just because this video has been requested a lot and I love to watch these kind of videos. You know, it gives great suggestions on what I can go out next time I'm at the department store and, you know, s smell, try out, you know, whatever. So I think I'm going to try to do this like least favorite to favorite. We'll see how that goes. I hope it doesn't take... Okay, so the first perfume that I had, um, this isn't necessarily my least favorite, but um, I've just had it like literally for years, and it is the uh, Clinique Happy Heart, and I have the body cream too. I got it in a set. Um, I have had this for probably, I want to say like five or six years, and I really, I love the smell of it. But I'm pretty sure that it went bad because, like, perfume goes bad. The alcohol in it goes bad. And I'm pretty sure that this went bad. Um, so I should probably throw this away because when you spray it on yourself, it smells really bad. So I don't even know if I'm going to count this because I'm pretty sure it's not good. <laughs> um, the next perfume I'm going to go with is, um, I guess I'll do these next. Um, I have a ginormous, juicy, Viva La Juicy. And you guys have all seen this. It's like like probably one of the most popular women's scents out right now. Um, uh, it's, I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just, it's strong. I don't know. It's very strong. It's kind of vanilla-y. I don't know. It's not my favorite. I think I got this as a gift and I just never use it. I mean, you can see it's like full and I've had it for like probably like, two years and I never use it. Maybe I should try to do like a giveaway or something and like let somebody who would love it love it because I don't really love it. <laughs> so yes, Viva La Juicy. And then I have the original Juicy. This is a much smaller, more usable bottle. Um, I like this one. It kind of smells like hairspray to be honest. It smells like an old person's hairspray not like trying to be offensive but like it smells like my grandma's hairspray and I don't really know like what kind that would be but that's how it kind of smells I mean it's pleasant it's florally it, it's a pleasant scent I this is my second bottle like this size that I have so I mean I went through a whole one and this is you know semi used up so I mean I do I do like that one and I have a mini Viva La Juicy that I think I got as a present. Um, this is nice just to carry in your purse or like to travel with or something because you know you can never take like your full size perfumes and I would never dare check a perfume in a suitcase. Um, no, I do not want that to crack and go all over my suitcase. So the next one is the Katy Perry perfume. I um, love Katy Perry, like with the burning fiery passion. And you can see her, she's like, well, she's kind of being covered up by Justin Bieber right there, but she's still up there. Um, and so yeah, Katy Perry perfume. This is, I always identify scents so strongly with a memory. And when I went to the Katy Perry concert, me and, um, the girl that I went with, we like doused ourselves in this because I got it like right before I went. And, um, so I like cannot wear this without, being like taken back to the concert which isn't necessarily a bad thing but it's just kind of like I, I don't I like never wear this perfume so it was kind of a waste especially since it's a big bottle but I do really like it and it is very very citrusy very citrusy that's how I can describe it it's a sugary citrus that's what it smells like and I have the shimmering body lotion which I've never used once and the um little purse size and I did have this in a purse for like a really really long time and it busted open and spilled everywhere so one of my purses like reeks of Katie Perry. Um the next one I will go with is Givenchy Play and I really 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 love this. Um it is extremely formal and it's very musky. That's my description of it it's very very formal um it's like it reminds me of like well once again this is related back to her memory i got this in las vegas three years ago two years ago i think it was two years ago and it was during the winter so i relate this to like very fancy christmas like winter time if that makes any sense um i love it it's it's a great perfume it's um it's an awesome bottle i mean it's like an ipod like play 
play. But, um, so yeah, I do really, really like this, except it's very formal and I rarely wear it. But I do like it. Um, next one is Coach. Um, I really like this one. This reminds me of Spring. This is very florally. The, the um, notes are all floral. And I do really like it. Um, it kind of reminds me of like New York. Not, I've, this doesn't have, it's not a relatable memory to New York, but that's kind of the scent that I, it, like if I went to New York, that I would think it would smell like, if that makes any sense at all. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty. It's very florally. Um, the next one is True Religion. I have the lotion to match it, and um, I like it. I like True Religion. I like the perfume. It's very, very um, understated. It's not a very like loud perfume, if that makes any sense. If perfumes can be loud, uh, it's not a mm, strong scent. It's not a strong scent at all. Um, I, I do like it. Uh, it's kind of got like an aqua scent. Like I know water doesn't have a smell, but uh, you know, like scents that are associated with aqua, like um, I, perfumes that are like notes of like water or whatever, like water drops. This is, that's what this smells like. It's like almost a linen smell. Um, it's nice though. It's very fresh. It's a very summery, summery, springy. Um... Next one is, oh, and I have a mini for that too, which is nice to throw in your purse. Um, next one is, well, I'll do my very least favorite one actually right now because I forgot about it as I always do. It is Dior Pure Poison. I've had this for years again. Um, my parents went to Europe and went to a fashion show and they, the guys, instead of like passing around drinks, they were pa it was like a I think it was a Dior fashion show and they were passing around Dior scents and so my mom got one for me and one for my sister. I mean they were the same ones. They had like men's and women's and so she just took two women's and um, yeah it's just I it's it's very formal. It kind of like smells like it. It's like pure I mean I don't it's this the name is perfect because that's what it smells like except it's cool because like if you shake it up it's opalescent. I don't know if you can see that. It's cool, and it came with two refills of this, so I like am forever stocked with Dior Pure Poison. The next one is um, Chance by Chanel, and I have used a lot of this. I love this. I used this all last year. Um, once again, this is associated with such a strong memory. It's so weird to smell these perfumes, but... Um, yeah, this is the original one, and it is formal. That's like the only way I can think to describe it is really formal. Um, this is gonna sound like so weird, but it almost smells like you know, like if you erase a pencil really hard, <laughs> and it smells like eraser shavings actually. So yeah, eraser shavings, right there. No, it smells really good though. I like it. It's just I don't really wear it anymore. Um, next one, which is one of my faves. I love this stuff and it's like super, super cheap. Um, it is baby fat dare me. I remember I bought this in Florida one year and, um, because you know, you can't like bring, you know, big things on an airplane over 3.4 ounces. So I got down there and bought this and it was like $22 for this and this baby fats dare me. I swear to God, it smells so good. It smells like coconuts and like anything beachy, like paradise. It's just the best smell ever. I love it. I love this stuff. It's just tropical. I mean, that's just the only thing I like almost kind of um, like not quite sunscreeny, but you know what I mean? It's just everything that you'd associate with um, the beach. I love this stuff. I bring it to Florida with me. Like every time I go, I bring it because it's just like the Florida scent. Okay. Now on to ones that I would like wear on a regular basis. Like my top three favorites. I saved those for us. So I guess I kind of did do what I was said I was going to do. Um, next one is, I'll just go ahead and go with this. Mm, this one. This is the 
Toka Colette. It's from Sephora. I don't even know, like, these brands. I don't really know how this works, but this is the Toka Colette. It's the purple one, and um, it is... That's, I mean, that's all it says. And there's like a line of like probably like 10 or 12 of them that you can pick from. And this is just that. This smells really, really good. It's um, warm. It's a warm scent. And the strongest note that I can smell it is um, vanilla. It's very vanilla-y. But at the same time, same time, it's really fresh. I, I really like this stuff. It smells really good on it. And when it fades, it lingers a vanilla scent. So I really like this stuff. It smells amazing. I love this stuff. So, number three recommendation. I love this. It smells really good. Okay, second favorite. No, I can't even do first and second because I like I love these both equally as much. Okay, so I'll just like show you them together since they're my top two favorite. Um, this one is Coco Mademoiselle Chanel Eau de Perfume. It was expensive, but I love it. Um, you hardly you need less when you get the perfume. I'm probably saying that wrong, um, but you need less when you get that than when you get the Eau de Toilette. Um, it's more concentrated, so I guess if you spend a little bit more, you could have it longer. I've had this since September, and I've worn it almost every single day, and I mean, that's all I've used. So it is a everlasting perfume, and I just love this. It's just, when you think of Chanel, like this is what you like when you think of what Chanel smells like, this is what it smells like. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, and the second one, the one tied for first and second place is Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. This stuff is amazing. It is just like, oh my god, it's, it's the beach. It's dare me times ten. It, it's, it's, um, number one, and this is the second, so I can travel with it, but this is like number one. This is like the macho Mr. Best one. I love this stuff. It smells like a drink on the beach. That's what it smells like. Um, that's the best way I can think to describe it. It almost does have like a, like a rummy scent to it. You know what I mean? Like a coconut. It's just amazing. And Estee Lauder does it seasonally. Um, this is the cheapest bottle of cologne perfume that I've ever bought. Uh, 3.4 ounces. I think it was $45. So I mean, here's this 108 versus $45. Like it's just the best thing ever. They release it every summer and it is, if you guys can get your hands on it, it's the best scent ever. So I'm not sure when they're going to release it again. I got this in like the end of last summer, like the beginning of fall. So this stuff is amazing. Hands down amazing. And that concludes my um, perfume collection slash review slash favorites slash least favorites. Um, I hope that fulfilled everything that you guys wanted to see. That's all the perfumes that I have. Oh, and my wish list for perfumes. I have two that I want, which they're kind of the same, so I would be okay if I just got one or the other. <laughs> but um, DKNY Pure. That smells so good. When I was at Sephora the other day, I sprayed that, and it is, it is very, very nice. It's very fresh. And um, the Marc Jacobs Original smells awesome, smells fresh. Uh, I don't really know how to describe them, but yeah, those are the two that I'm on, like, the hunt for. So those will probably be my next two cologne per perfume purchases. So, um, yeah, like I said, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helped. And leave the videos that you would like to see in the bottom um, comments, and I will try to get to them. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.